Welcome to Composite Creations. Well, you've made that decision. You're purchasing a Bulldog or a Children's Splash Boat. A part of your purchase order package, you will find a page that will state what are your lengths and measurements. I'm going to very quickly go through some of those lengths and measurements for you to help you better understand what we are looking for within those measurements. One of the key measurements we have is going to be based on the saddle itself. Now, obviously at home, you don't have a saddle to sit on. So simply a pillow uh, off the bed, um, maybe one from the end of the couch, something like that will work just fine. It allows you to sit comfortably on top of something in the saddle position. What we're going to look at first is the actual cockpit size. Everyone wants to know how big should the boat be? How big should this cockpit area be for me as a paddler? Again, this is your boat, so it has to fit you. So, what we ask is, if you are in your own home, uh, if there is a spot in the house such as a door jam, where the linoleum floor from the kitchen potentially, or the hardwood floor, meets the rug going into the living room, that gives you a great flat line. If you don't have that option, simply a yardstick will suffice. If you put the yardstick on the floor in front of you, think about your knee to that, to that yardstick. Is there room in there for your knee to move back and forth? If there's an excessive amount of room, feel free to move that yardstick back. What you're doing is finding the placement for this particular bulkhead. This particular bulkhead is going to be the front one which will stage everything else from. That front bulkhead now has a partner, the one that's in the back. This back bulkhead will, will now give us the overall general size of the cockpit of your boat. The smaller the cockpit, the better. Especially if you're in a boat and you're upside down and you're trying to roll it back up again. The smaller the cockpit, the less water you're actually going to take in during that roll. That's one of the beauties of paddling a bulldog as well as a children's splash boat uh, with those larger tanks built right in. So, what we'll do is take that front measurement. It is roughly two inches in front of my kneecap for my comfort level. And I measure back behind me to the, to the back side of my saddle or to a given area that I would like to have. If you're going to store items behind you, uh, such as lunch bags or whatever, you may want to give yourself a couple more inches. But for myself, I like my, my particular boat, I like that bulkhead to be right behind the saddle itself. So for me, we're looking at 26 to 27 inches. So I would say 26 and a half on if I was filling in the, the actual page for the actual size of the bulkhead. This paddler today, when they ordered their boat, they're a little bit longer than those legs. So they measured in at 31 inches. Again, have a longer leg. They also have a larger placement in the saddle, so they have more room to move those foot pegs further back. The second measurement you would like to have is the length of your leg. The length of the leg starts at the kneecap. So again, pull that yardstick or move up to that door jam so that your kneecap is pretty much right there. From that standpoint, we'll measure back to, to the back side of my foot, which happens to be 21 inches. But if you are a paddler who happens to paddle with their feet out behind them, or in some cases, tucked in underneath the foot pegs, we need to now have that overall length of measurement. And again, with all of these measurements, please understand we do not need finite measurement. If your leg length here happens to be 24 inches, 24 inches it is. If it's 24 and 3 eighths, well that's okay. You can write 20, you can you can write it to the nearest half inch increment. Um, we'd like to see this a little bit larger because again, if you get your bulkier gear on, your dry suits and your wetsuits for that cold weather paddling, you're going to want that little extra space. But again, all of these measurements can be within a half inch. Now, the third measurement you're going to need today is simply the height of your foot. And this is, helps us place the anchor placement. What we do is we measure from the floor up to that ankle bone. You know that always hurts when you chip it on the rock? Well, might have to come in at six inches. The reason we need that measurement from the floor up is to help place better the actual attachment points or the anchor points for those thigh straps. 
When your thigh straps come over your thighs, they actually tie into the side of the boat. So, there's your anchor point up on the side, and we'll actually, through our experiences, place the anchor point in relation to your ankle bone itself, which now gives you uh, more versatility in those straps, to have them loose or extremely tight, allows you to move around more so, depending on the different types of paddling that you're doing. So in short, three, the three measurements that were required within your purchase order that you have now received will be the overall length of the cockpit, the overall length of your leg, whether it's up short or toe down underneath, as well as the height from here, from the floor, back to your ankle bone. And again, don't get too exact. We don't need it down to uh, you know, 15, 16 of an inch. We just need it within half inch increments. And yes, feel free for anyone who is more comfortable utilizing the metric system. You can use centimeters and millimeters for your measurements. That's quite all right. Uh, we're in Canada. We're kind of diverse here. And, um, and, 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 and for, from that standpoint, we will create your boat, the one that you're about to order. As you visit our website at compositecreations.ca, we ask that you flip through some of our other product line, some of our other canoes. Uh, we have the, this is new for us in 2013. We have the Expedition boat now being released. Uh, it works very well in whitewater applications as well as long trips. It too will come with strap systems if you request that in your purchase order. Uh, it handles very well, fully loaded, and uh, we're quite excited to get this boat to market. Uh, as you browse through our website, uh, you'll see the Splash Canoe, the children's canoe. Uh, also, a lot of us smaller sized adults will paddle that canoe as well. And, uh, that, and on that particular page of the Splash, you'll see the, uh, the well-informed and, 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 and uh, great canoe cartoon, kayak cartoon, created by Paul Mason. The, com the comic strip is referred to as Bubble Street Cartoons. And uh, it always brings a good chuckle. So if you're having one of those long days at work, sneak over to the website and have, a, and have yourself a chuckle with Bubble Street cartoons. At the same time, we, we hope that you will look up Rapid Media. Rapid Media is a great source of paddling information uh, on paddle sports, whether you're a kayaker, whether you paddle open boats, uh, if you're into fishing and, and kayak angling, or just kayaking in general, sea kayaking. Uh, by all means, they have great, uh, a great uh, broad range of different magazines that are available. And some of, if you do a search, you'll find some of our product line hosted in previous issues of their magazine. And yes, indeed, we would also like to make acknowledgement to Mikey and Mikey Outfitting. Mikey has been providing us with saddles as well as a lot of top end paddlers across North America. And if you look at a lot of whitewater boats, there's a lot of saddle systems that are, that are placed in various manufactured boats and even by do-it-yourselfers at home that will have the Mikey branding on it. So again, at any time, check out Mikey at MikeyOutfitFitting.com. And that will conclude today's presentation. If you have any further questions about getting your saddle, getting it into your boat, or having us do it here at the factory, please call me or send me an email. And uh, we look forward to seeing you one day soon here at Composite Creations.